Hello, it's been a while since I've done a video, uh, but since we're in lockdown, technically, um, I thought I would do one about my range of hobbies. Uh, some of you know I am a prolific hobbyist, I think that's the best way to put it, uh, which means I've tried lots and lots of things over the years. Um, and so we'll go through some of them now. We'll start with probably one of my favourites, but I haven't done it for such a long time, and that's balloon modelling. Now I'm showing you on here because clearly balloons don't last very long, but there's a blue tit or a grey tit, Robin Formula One car that you could actually sit in, um, an Elsa, a sheep, Teenage Mutant Ninja wearable head, saxophone, trumpet, dragon, there's all sorts, massive bear, um, really fun hobby that was, and I enjoyed that an, an awful lot. Uh, don't do it so much anymore. The other sort of main one I was I was into was wood turning, um, and particularly I turned uh, wooden pens using kits. Um, so it's more the wood that was satisfying rather than the pen itself. However, they they turn out nice, um, and from that wood turning, I did other things like these whistles. Try not to be too loud with that one. Um, and it even allowed me to create a little R2-D2. And I'll talk a little bit more about what that is in the top there. I don't know if you can see that particularly. Um, it sort of clouded when I put the resin in. But that was a, an X-Wing fighter made out of clock and watch parts. And that was something else I got into. So here is a dragon that I made. If I put my hand behind, maybe you can see that a bit clearer. Um, I also made, I made a whole load of things, but a little motorbike there. Um, again, if I put it on the black of my top, you can maybe see that out of clock and watch parts. Uh, so that was a fun hobby. Um, and then with the woodwork, I sort of branched out a little bit. I made things like this on the bandsaw. Um, I also made with the plastic and the wood these little phone stands. Um, so what you do is you put it on the table, your phone sticks in there and props up. Uh, it's quite quite a nice little keyring. Um, I also made fidget spinners when they were all the rage. So that's a nice wooden one. And again, just spins around, nice. And from there, with the fidget spinners, playing around some plumbing parts. And again, you can create your own fidget spinners. Then what else have I done? I've done all sorts. With the wood again, started again into whittling, and this was one of my first whittling projects, a little bird that I whittled. And then whittled a whole range of people. And this is a little paper knife um, there. And got some other little people that I've done. Some ladies as well. Gentlemen there. And my attempt at a sort of magneto style figure there. Um, other wood thing that I created was this telidoscope. Um, so again, a kit. And again, it's one of those, a bit like a, sorry, kaleidoscope, not a telidoscope. Kaleidoscope, you know, through beautiful uh, colors spinning around there. Uh, with the carving, I also did a little bit of horn and antler work, partly because I got into stick making and the tips of the antlers were left over. So walking stick making, that is. And you can see, I don't know if you can see on there, carved a little mouse into there, and it's also a good little whistle. What else have I got? Um, other hobbies that I've spent a long time on were coin rings. So turning coins into rings. You punch a hole out the middle. I've done a whole video, a separate video on this. And from there, I also got into making little cowboy hats out of coins. And you can see that clearly. And also a little bell. This is made out of the old half pennies, English half pennies, and a bit from a clock, a winder from a clock. Um, also, with some of my weird hobbies, this started out life as um, opera glasses, and it unscrews now to show that I've turned some of the lenses over and I've got one of my spinning tops inside. I didn't make the spinning top. 
I purchased this one, but it's great for carrying around and sitting on a table and spinning in those quiet dull moments. So that's another thing that I created. I also got into a time where doing sort of a, a lot of work with paracord, making various paracord items. I also created some bracelets and things out of balloon parts. So all the leftover bits of balloon you put together on a bracelet and actually use the balloon itself as well to, to put as the elastic band. And some of those can be nice and bright and, and colorful. So I enjoyed making those for a bit as well as a way of using up my scraps from my balloons. I also got into soap carving. Um, and this is a soap carving I did quite some time ago. It's actually over the place I work. It's the main school building. Um, so I enjoyed making that. It took about an hour to carve with various little tools and knives. Um, so I, that was a, I did a hundred day challenge and this was day a hundred and I thought that was a suitable place to stop. And then more recently I've got into things like hot wheel cars, um, stripping the paint off and then repainting them. So this is one I've repainted. Uh, I also collect them sort of um, and they're sort of displayed in, on my garage wall um, and I also started to create sort of custom cards as well so this one is for the uh, martial arts school that I go to and I put on some um, specific decals onto the car as well so that's probably one of my more recent hobbies another random thing that I did which is also good fun this was about five meters of tin foil and the idea was just to keep hitting it and bashing it with a hammer eventually to get it down to as small a ball as I could possibly get um, it's solid really solid uh, but very light uh, and that was that was just a fun little project uh, it took a little while to do but good fun um, I also play uh, the ukulele every now and again I pick up the harmonica every now and again I do axe throwing uh, which I'm not going to show you um, but I'm a member of the UK Knife Axe and Tomahawk Throwing Association I play the harmonica I think I've ever said that um, I do some archery as well so I've got my archery qualification um, tons and tons of things I'm not adverse to having a go at things if there's a new hobby to try I'll probably give it a go um, and it's it's just a way of occupying myself and relaxing and chilling out and forgetting some of the stresses and strains of life because um, you know it can get wary sometimes but we have to find ways of coping and that's one of my ways of coping is to actually go and do things and, and get on with things so there we go that's my many many hobbies um hope you've enjoyed the video and i will see you next time take care and be safe thank you